This segment of the news is brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, is a progressive degenerative brain disease associated with repetitive head trauma. Currently, CTE can only be confirmed post-mortem. In a new study from the Journal of the American Medical Association, researchers examined the brains of 202 deceased former football players, more than half of them from the NFL, and talked to their family members to identify pathological and clinical features of CTE. Laura Berger has more in this week's JAMA report. Former NFL running back Mike Adamley recently retired from sports casting and he is living with what he says doctors believe may be chronic traumatic encephalopathy or CTE. The only thing that I remember was that he said you have symptoms that are concurrent with CTE. Adamley has good days and bad days. He does what he can to combat the depression, frustration and forgetfulness he faces with exercise, diet and cognitive stimulation. He leans on friends and family. We've got sort of a, a fraternity of players who just, you know, call each other up and wherever we need it and, you know, for a bit, lack of a better phrase, talk each other off the ledge, you know, and because you do, you do really get paranoid and depressed. In a new study, Dr. Ann McKee of the VA Boston Healthcare System and the Boston University CTE Center studied the donated brains of deceased former football players who played in high school, college, and the pros. Their brains were examined for signs of CTE, and players next of kin provided information about athletic histories, mood, and cognitive symptoms. CTE can only be confirmed post-mortem. Pathologic evidence of CTE was found in 177 of the 202 former players, including 110 of the 111 NFL players whose brains were studied. The study appears in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association. The main results were there was a shockingly high percentage of CTE amongst the brain donors. Uh, that is, we found uh, 110 out of 111 former NFL players had diagnostic lesions of CTE at autopsy. We found 91% of college players, and we found even uh, evidence of CTE in some high school players, about 3 of 14 or 21%. Uh, so this says to us that CTE is a problem. It is a problem associated with football. There are caveats to the study, including that brain bank donors don't represent the overall population of former football players. Adam Lee would like to see the game he loves be safer. Whether they can do that over a period of time in the next 20 years, I'm not certain. I don't think anybody is certain. Laura Berger, The JAMA Report. These findings suggest that CTE may be related to prior participation in football. Amazon is about to offer discounts to members on Whole Foods. Tapping our news, it's on. Amazon plans to close its deal to buy Whole Foods Monday, and the online retailer is already out with discounts for Prime members. Amazon is sending special savings out on organic eggs, avocados, and other foods popular at Whole Foods. The mega merger is also shaking up the grocery industry. On Thursday, Walmart and several other supermarket stocks closed lower, wiping out an estimated $12 billion in market cap value. Health insurance company CareSource is coming to the rescue of Obamacare. The nonprofit is offering insurance coverage in Ohio's Paulding County. That means there is no longer a place in the U.S. to date that lacks an Affordable Care Act exchange plan. Alta turned in a beautiful earnings report. The cosmetics retailer reported earnings that easily topped Wall Street's expectations. Alta plans to open 100 new stores this year. Well, Hurricane Harvey is on its way to the Texas coastline, and residents are bracing for impact. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said Corpus Christi will receive the brunt of the Category 3, possibly Category 4 storm. They are expecting a major disaster, and flooding has already begun. They expect the center of the storm to hit around 6.30 Saturday morning. Officials are asking all residents to evacuate, though it is still not mandatory in all parts at this time. They are expecting record flooding from Corpus Christi, to Houston. You may have noticed an increased presence of NHP Trooper vehicles in town the past few days. Trooper Brazcheck explains. And right now they're working a task force and basically what that is is they're federally mandated to inspect semi-trucks and to keep our roads safe 
semis are, as we know, big vehicles. They're hauling a lot of weight, and if they're not being operated safely, that's a huge danger to the public. So what our commercial enforcement troopers do is they'll they'll pull over a semi, they'll go through his logbook, they'll make sure that he's not driving over his time because we can't have drivers driving semis when they're drowsy and falling asleep. Uh, they'll be checking out their, their load to make sure what they're hauling. They'll be checking the weights, they'll be doing tires, lights, horns, every, any safety angle you can think of with the semi, that's what our troopers are inspecting and that's what you're seeing out here. Are they checking for loads uh, being covered? Because I know that's been an issue. A lot of people have complained in the past about the, their windshields getting broke by people who don't have their loads covered. Right, that's, and you know, I don't know how Pahrump is specifically, but I know in Vegas we have a lot of construction and we have those rock hauling trucks. And if they're not covered properly, they're dropping rocks onto the freeway, they're hitting cars, they're chipping paint, chipping windshields, and that's called an unsecure load and that is a ticketable offense. So if you do have that happen to you, get the plate number, call us or call Nye County and they'll come out and uh, issue a citation to that company and they'll do a, a crash report for you. An update on the lightning strike fire in Johnny after this break.